Hi, it's Lawrence Payne here, Rome Mosaic Workshops, and we're going to have a look at a type of uh, background setting called Opus Circulatum, Opus meaning work, and Circulatum is this particular fan-shaped patterning that you see, and you can just make it out here on this floor. The picture's not that brilliant, but you see all these different, these separate fan shapes here across the floor. Uh, now, if we just close in on that, and you can see I've drawn a line, and this is where you get that fan check. Now, when you look at this, when you look at how irregular this is, although there is a distinctive pattern there, this does make me think that um, like a lot of the occasions that they, they were set um, pretty much by eye. They weren't uh, put them put down as neatly as we think they might do. Uh, you do get some examples, but a lot of them where this patterning, this opus circulatum is used as a background, it does appear that it's pretty much done by eye. Now, if you want to use it, the easiest thing is to, you'll learn to do it, to set it out on a grid first um, before you get to this stage. So this is it. You get a radius measurement, so a measurement from the center of a circle to the outside of five tesserae. I mean, you can create larger ones if you want, but uh, five tesserae is a good uh, good size to work on. So get that measurement there, and then you draw a grid where each of the squares are that five tesserae. There, and as you can see, they're five, 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 five. Um, and we've got eight boxes there, eight boxes there. Now on the center here, A, that's here. So A is where the circle is. You draw a circle, draw a circle. Then you offset and you do the same again here. A, there's your circles. And you'll very easily see where these, uh, these individual patterns form and what you get is something like this so the center of the circle is there is there is there now once you have this pattern you have to uh, set the mosaic so they are set as in this one here let's get a close-up so your borderline always your borderline there's your borderline there's your borderline then you can fill in and Mostly it's going to be these um, sort of concentric half circles there. You're using keystone cuts on the outside as the curve goes down. And then it it ends up being a bit of a, a hodgepodge in the middle. Uh, I wouldn't worry about trying to be too neat with it. Uh, but that is the way that you set each of those. So get your five tesserae radius. Get your grid circles create this pattern and then set the mosaic there.